Okay, in the last installment of this video, I kind of gave you a little bit of backstory of this boat. In this particular video, we're actually going to make it to the island, but before we get there, I want to tell you some of the things that I had to do to get the boat ready for the actual sail to Catalina Island. This is, again, only a 21-foot boat. It's not a boat of great size, but you don't need size to get to Catalina need safety. Things that I included on this boat to provide it a little bit more safety were the lifelines surrounding the outside of the boat. I added the stanchions uh, that came off of another boat from a salvage store called Minis down in Costa Mesa. And uh, those lifelines, in my opinion, not only added a little bit of stability, bit of sturdiness, they also gave us a backrest and something to rest our arms on when we were sailing for roughly 8 to 10 hours. Marina del Rey from Avalon is exactly 40 miles, or 39.2 miles. Marina del Rey from Two Harbors is roughly 29 miles, or 30 miles. It takes quite a long time to sail from Marina del Rey to Avalon. And that was our first destination, Avalon Harbor. As you can see here, we tried to follow Michael as he made a tack that we didn't make. And when we got to the point where we got closer to the boat that we thought was Michael after that tack, we realized we lost Michael. We had no idea where he went. find Michael, catch him, and then make it to our moorings. Mooring in Catalina is not hard. They have a flag that sticks out off of a buoy. Grab that flag, pull it up to the bow, attach it from where the flag is to the bow cleat on your boat. Walk backwards with the rope that follows the flag out of the water and attach it to your starboard side rear cleat on the back end of your boat. After you've moored, it's either a $3 fee if you want to take the water taxi in, call on channel 9 to the harbor office, or row your way to shore, motor your way to shore, and tie up for free with the dinghy dock. We had dinner at this really cool restaurant called El Gallia. It's just nautically themed, and that's what I looked for and wanted when I got to Avalon. I took photos of my boat, and many photos as you can see, from shore because I wanted to really immortalize this moment. My boat at Catalina next to that beautiful casino. And then of course, my boat at Catalina with lights. Lights are important on a boat. And before this trip, my boat had no lights. 